are worthy of feeling good in your body. Let me repeat that. You are worthy of feeling good in your body. While negative self-talk is kind of normal, I even myself just the other day was posting a video and thought, my God, your face looks puffy. And then I was like, of course it looks puffy. You've just woken up and you're not feeling well. So yeah, it's like negative self-talk, I think is a normal thing. So today, as a way of helping us through these feelings together, I thought we could get our journals and use them to help us kind of think through why we feel this way and how we might be a bit more intentional about how we look after ourselves and the things that we say to ourselves. What messages have you received from society about what your body should look like? How do these messages make you feel? How can you show your body love and care today? I think one of the big reasons why we focus so much on looking perfect and yeah, and trying to be something that we're not is because we see it constantly online and attaining these standards is just not realistic. I show up here every morning and I do not look my most radiant self, but this is me in the morning, so why not share that? I think with a lot of content online, I do sometimes question the motivations. You know, is, is, it, is it insecurity? Is it because they're advertising products and, and actually a lot of that advertising is designed to make us feel insecure and make us feel like we're lacking and inadequate um yeah because they they want to sell us stuff don't they so i try to focus more on how i feel and you know look at my body in a way that i'm i'm grateful for it i think i i grew up with a disability and for a very long time had to go through physio and I have a really deep appreciation for the fact I need to look after my body. My body needs me <laughs> to look after it. Otherwise, life is more difficult. And yeah, I think maybe that, that changes your perspective as well. I think self-image and how we care for ourselves, it has a huge impact on our mental health every single day. So spending some time writing about our feelings and about how we can be more intentional, how we can show love to ourselves. It's such a great place to start. So I hope that that helps. I hope you have some really lovely plans for today and I will see you tomorrow.